my friend, my friend, we're going to be doing a Selena Gomez song today. If you want, you can play with capo, but I suggest not. Try and do it with the open phrasings. When we go through this song, what we notice is that it's in the key of D major, which means when we play this groove, we can either see this through the eyes of D major, or we could see it through the keys of another major that would have a D major, G major, and an A major. Granted, we're not here for theory, so we're just gonna go play in these songs. To play the first one, we're gonna have our D major, which is gonna have it rocking out almost disco. So fifth fret on the A, and then playing seventh fret on the G is gonna give you both your octave A's, A, and then it's relative down here, the fifth. It's a fourth when we go down, and it's a fifth when we go up. So when we go to A, what we have here is the D, A, and then up is the E. So the whole progression we're going to have for the bass is going to be D, 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 D. We're going to drop down to A, to G, at the third fret. Or open A, two, three, four, works as well. You'd have open D, two, three, open A, two, three. Heck, open G, two, three, if you want to do that sort of groove. Other than that, the feeling we're going to have in it, I would say, is going to be all downstrokes as the eighth note down, up and out would be a little bit too much for this groove. So all downstrokes. Since we're doing all downstrokes, maybe just do power chords. We would have a D power chord playing with our first or second finger at the fifth fret on the A and then play the two significant chords at the seventh fret playing two notes. That would give us D, 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 D. Same thing played for the A. Then down to the G5, a power chord. It's just going to use the same thing. Third fret on the E string, fifth fret on the A string, and fifth fret on the D string. When we go through this whole song, there are two sections. Three if you count the bridge. You're going to be playing D, A, and G over and over and again. D major, A major, and G major. When it changes, it's going to go to the relative minor of the song. And that relative minor is going to be a B minor. And it's going to walk itself down to an A major and then to a G. It does that over and over again. So you can either play it at the seventh fret, giving yourself on the low E, your B note, and then play all three notes right here for a D minor seven. Or you can play it as a bar chord, bar up the whole second fret, play your middle finger at the third fret on the B string, and then play your three and four finger on the G and the D string, giving you the A minor type shape, but it forms a B minor. Essentially, you'd be playing a B minor, to an A major, to a G major. That's the B section. The only other thing that happens in here is it goes from D to G. Two, three, four, D major, G major. Two, three, four. Got a little bit of bum hand, a little swollen. I can't play, sorry about that. However, I did have a student that wanted to do this song. This is a great explanation. Play the chords yourself. Try for that B minor bar chord and try for playing a G major bar chord rather than just playing G with a G, B, all the open strings and the open G. Maybe try playing a bar at the third fret with the E major root shape. I enjoyed this. I hope you did. We'll see you soon. Aloha.